Where is Roxy? Chloe arrived home from school, made herself a cup of coffee and went to her bedroom. She had homework to do, but it could wait for later. She wanted to enjoy the quiet time before her parents arrived home and filled the house with the sounds of conversation, television and her dad's favorite jazz music. She liked this time of day, too, because she could play with her pet rats. Yes, that's right, pet rats. Chloe has got two of them, Zena and Roxy. Chloe knows uh, there are not typical pets, they are not typical pets, and she knows most people think rats are dirty. She didn't like rats either till her friend Martin invited her to his house one day and showed her these pet rats. When she played with them and held a rat in her hands for the first time, she saw how affectionate and intelligent they, are, they were. Last year, when one of Martin's rats had babies, Chloe decided she'd like to take two of them. It wasn't easy to persuade mom and dad, but fortunately, a good school report arrived uh, just before Chloe's birthday, and her parents were in a good mood. When mom asked Chloe uh, what she wanted for her birthday, Chloe told that she'd like a pair of rats. Rats? Are you serious? asked mom, and then Chloe told her about Martin and the baby rats. Give me five minutes, said Chloe's mom. I'm going to phone Martin's parents. It had been the longest five minutes of Chloe's life, but finally mom came back into the kitchen, smiled and said, yes, all right, you can have two rats, but with mothers there is always a but. They must live in your room and can never go out to other parts of the house, especially not the kitchen. Chloe was delighted and two days later they went to Martin's house to collect Roxy and Zina. In her room, Chloe opened the cage. First she picked up Roxy and put her on the floor. Then she picked up, uh, she picked up Zina and put her on her shoulder. Roxy loved to explore. She climbed bookcases and drawers and went under Chloe's bed. Zina was quieter and liked sitting on Chloe's shoulder while she, while she messaged her friends or read a book. A while later, there was a knock at the door. Hi, Chloe, called mom. Are you there? Yes, mom, said Chloe. Come in. I'm going to my aerobics class. I'll be back about seven o'clock. Dad is on the way home. He's making pasta tonight. Okay, mom, see you later, Chloe replied. Mom closed the door. Chloe put Zina back to her cage and called for Roxy. Roxy, said Chloe. Roxy, where are you? Roxy usually came when Chloe said her name. Chloe wanted a moment, waited a moment and then started to look for her. Where could Roxy be? She must be in Chloe's room somewhere. Then Chloe remembered that mom had opened the door. Roxy might have gone out of the room then and now she could be anywhere in the house. Chloe started to search. She looked in her parents' room and the bathroom, but Roxy wasn't there. Next she went downstairs. On the way, she had a sudden panic. What if Roxy had climbed into the washing machine? And what if mom had turned it on with Roxy inside? Chloe ran the last few steps to the kitchen and was happy to see the washing machine door was open and Roxy wasn't inside. Then Chloe searched the kitchen, opened drawers and cupboards calling Roxy's name the whole time. Hi, Chloe, said Dad as he came into the kitchen with a bag of food from the Italian delicatessen. Are you okay? he asked. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm, Chloe wanted to say I'm fine, but she wasn't fine and she needed Dad's help. Dad, I've, I've, uh, I've lost Roxy, she said. I see, said Dad, putting down the shopping bag. Don't worry, we'll find her. She can't be far. 
Chloe and her dad looked all over the house, but they couldn't find Roxy anywhere. When she was searching her room for the third time, Chloe heard a key in the door and mom calling, It's me, I'm home. Oh no, thought Chloe. Mom is going to be angry. She decided to stay in her room and let dad tell mom about Roxy. Then she heard dad laughing and mom called out, Chloe, come downstairs. Chloe went downstairs and there was mom with a smile on her face and Roxy on her shoulder. Oh, mom, you found her, said Chloe. Where was she? Uh, when I arrived at the gym, said mom, I opened my bag and found Roxy sleeping in one of my trainers. Oh, no, are you angry? asked Chloe. No, it was a shock, but I picked her up for the first time and do you know what? Now I think I like rats too.